much indeed, and it's nice to be appreciated. Um, <laughs> what a load of bloody nonsense that last act was. <laughs> Goodness me, a lovely man, no doubt about it, but his head is scrambled. No doubt about it. And it wasn't in the proper order, some of the dates were wrong. Goodness me, I'm going to have a word with him later. <laughs> now, I'm uh, Professor Keith Stevenson. I'm uh, a <coughs> professor at uh, Glasgow Caledonian University, uh, known locally as Cali, and uh, in some parts of Glasgow as GCU Jimmy. <laughs> and I'm uh, a professor of uh, education, interprofessional education to be precise, and my job is to research into what is the most effective ways of delivering education to uh, students, undergraduate students, and find out the, the way in which students will be motivated to learn. And uh, I'm an academic, and I'm interested in information, and I realize that it's important and you need to know it in order to be able to understand it. And that's one thing to tell the students. If you learn this, it will be good for you. Uh, another way is to say, if you learn this, you'll get some marks. And we found that it's the uh, get the marks is the one where the students actually do the work. It's very, very disappointing. <laughs> but anyway, that brings me on to uh, what I need to talk about here, which is measurement and numbers, because that's what I deal with a lot. And I get annoyed when uh, numbers are misrepresented. And uh, for example, like the BBC has spent millions of pounds trying to tell us that three is a magic number. What a load of shit! <laughs> three is just a normal number, same as any other number. Magic number, my arse. But the BBC are not the only culprits. Uh, we come across numbers being used inappropriately um, and phrases that get into the consciousness and seem to uh, come out without people realizing what they're saying. For example, uh, there is a response to the question, how many were there? And the response comes back, oh, enough to shake a stick at. What the fuck's that? <laughs> I mean, presumably, it's six or seven. <laughs> but surely it must be species specific. I mean, it might be six or seven geese. But my guess is, it would only need to be one saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> and there are other phrases that have got into the consciousness that uh, are imprecise, or uh, they're okay for some people, but not others. I mean, say you had somebody who had come from Turkey, for example, and they had to understand a phrase like, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Well, they've got to try and work out what a dozen is. And then they've got to multiply it by a half. Then they're going to try and remember what the first number was that they were supposed to be comparing with. And what if you're with a group of bakers? <laughs> I mean, they presumably say six of one, seven of the other. Or is it six and a half? Anyway, you get the idea. Phrases that get into the consciousness and people don't really think about what they're saying. Now, the chief culprit of all these, of giving us numbers that are misrepresented, I happen to have brought along with me tonight, and I have it in my pocket. Mm. I shall bring it out and show you. Here it is here. <laughs> now, this is hundreds and thousands. <laughs> which you can buy at the bakery section of your local supermarket. Now, how they've got away with this, I don't know. Are there hundreds and thousands of these bastards in here? I don't know. I've looked at the uh, label. It says hundreds and thousands. It doesn't say average contents. And does it mean hundreds and thousands of the pink ones, or hundreds and thousands of the blue ones, or the green ones? I don't know. But then I thought about it and thought, well, I'm a scientist. I could find out by using a little bit of scaling up. 
Um, and then I could write to the makers of this and help them out. <laughs> and I thought what you could do is that you could pour out about a gram and then painstakingly start moving them into the different colours without sneezing. <laughs> And then you can count them and then scale them up with a bit of elementary mathematics and then you would find out how many were in the bottle. Well, who would do that? <laughs> <laughs> so I have it here. I have to thank actually my research assistant. <laughs> for lamination. <laughs> you give it to her, she'll laminate it. <laughs> and once I had this, of course, I was able to take a microscope and uh, a little bit of counting and elementary mathematics. I could scale it up and find out how many are in the bottle. And I'm able to tell you, and uh, I think this is a first, I don't think anybody's done this research before, <laughs> that uh, by scaling it up, uh, it's uh, 65 grams in the jar, and we have one gram separated out here. There are 6,500 red, 4,500 pink, 3,500 yellow, and 2,500 green. Which I think will in green, you can have that and pass it around if you want to see it. <laughs> Old habits die hard. <laughs> anyway, with those numbers, I think you will have to agree with me that this should actually be called thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. <laughs> It's a phrase that has affected the posher end of the uh, spectrum rather more than others perhaps. And it's a phrase you may have seen, and I hope you don't use it yourselves, but it comes back in response to the question, have you been working hard? And what you get back is, oh yeah, yeah, 24-7, I've been working 24-7. What a twatish thing to say. <laughs> Do they understand what they're talking about? I mean, 24-1. I've seen people that have been up all night. They're absolutely wrecked. 24-2. Yes, I've seen possibly people that have done that. Even more wrecked. 24-3. I've never met anybody that's been up 24-3. In fact, I've done some research on this. And I've found that there's only one person who's done more than 24-3, and he did 24-6. But even he had to have a rest on the 24-7th <laughs> <laughs> So, in my opinion, when you hear somebody telling you that they've been working 24-7, then A, they're saying that they've worked harder than God, and B, they're breaking up in EU working directive. <laughs> So, if you come across anybody who says, I've been working 24-7, you have my permission to arrest them, <laughs> take them to Brussels, and let's have them incarcerated for at least 24-7. <laughs> 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 <laughs>